Within Revit, columns can be added at the grid line intersections by using the column tool and the at grid intersection option. When you click at grid intersections, all you have to do at that point is select the grid intersections or all of the grids that you'd like to place a column at. Once you do that, you'll get a preview of the columns that will be placed. And then you can finish the sketch. At this point, you'll want to select the columns and double check to make sure the top and bottom constraint are correct. We'll set the top level to roof and make sure there's no base offset on these columns. If I go to my level one floor plan, see the columns have been added. And there's a few that we probably don't need. So I'll delete those ones. And in some of these cases, we might want to put a custom wrap around there. So for that, what we can do is we can do an in-place model using the column category. We can give it a name appropriate for our project. And then I can use any of these creation methods to create the column. In this case, I'm going to use blend. Using blend, the first thing I want to do is create a base. I can draw an outline. We'll start with an arc on the bottom here. And this does need to be a closed loop. Once I create the base, I can edit the top, doing something very similar, but slightly smaller. So that'll just be a taper. After you've created the top and the base, what you want to do is go in and set the options for the first end, which is where your base is going to start, and the second end where the top will be terminating. And that gives us an in-place column that's custom to this project.